Hello, hello! I'm here today with Loop Hobbies to give you a quick tutorial on something called selective coloring, or it's also known as color spotting, using a program called GIMP. As an example, I'll be editing this photo I took here of the hummingbird uh, hovering around the feeder, and what I'll be doing is I'll be keeping the, the red color in the feeder and also the color of the hummingbird while grayscaling everything else in the background. So what we first want to do is duplicate the layer two times. Um, and then after that, you're going to click on the first layer, go up to colors, desaturate. And then when you do that, three options come up, lightness, luminosity, and average. Um, for when you're doing the selective coloring, I generally believe that average seems to look best. It brings out the color in the photo. Um, you're going to want to go ahead and do the same thing for the third layer underneath. So go ahead and do that, and then go back and click on the first layer, and go over to the eraser tool, and if you just go ahead and make a scribble, um, all that appears is a white line, so you're going to have to go down and add an alpha channel to the first and second layer. And what this does is when you take the eraser again, um, you go through and when you erase, you're erasing the layer that you select and what comes up underneath is the layer underneath. Now I'm going to go ahead and go start erasing the pieces of the picture which I want to be in color. And um, I'm just going to speed this up for you a little bit so I don't waste your entire day watching this video. Um, it's very simple. Basically you can just zoom in. Um, you don't have to be super accurate in the first portion because that's what the second layer is for, which you'll see in a second. Um, basically, you just want to go ahead and um, get make sure everything is colored that you want to be um, in color. And once you're done with this, we can then go back to the second layer and start erasing um, the pieces of color that we don't want to be there. So, as you can see, there's um, there's a lot of green that's left over around the edges. So you kind of want to zoom in and erase all of that because it will be noticeable on the, the final picture. So now I'm going ahead finishing up touching up the bird right now. Um, and basically that's all there really is to it. There's nothing really super fancy that we have to do. Um, I've seen tutorials that accomplishes the same task and it uses over 10 steps and all this really uses is the eraser tool and you just have to add a couple alpha channels and desaturate a few layers and that's really all that you have to do. It's very very easy. And I'd finally like to thank you for watching this video and I hope you learned something from it.